Good morning. Halloween costumes can look great, but given the right conditions, they can be downright dangerous. We're going to show you how to keep your guys and ghouls safe as they head out to trick or treat tonight. Plus, up as a witch. Doesn't he look like one of those uh, cigar smoking, gambling dogs that you see playing poker on the velvet? The photos? hat? The, <laughs> the hat whole thing. Just, yeah, the hat doesn't fit. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what a great dog. We've got a safety alert. As you said, your youngster's out tonight in their costumes. You know, sometimes you may think about bad candy, but we don't necessarily think about burns. And ABC 15's Brian McElhatton is live at the Mesa Fire Department training facility. Brian, when we think of safety, we do think of checking our candy but we don't think so much about the costumes and yet a lot of people have jack-o-lanterns on their porch and they're lit absolutely and, and like you said we don't think about it that can be a problem because so many of the costumes that we use these days they're made of that polyester sort of plastic uh, Forrest Smith is here with the Mesa Fire Department he's got some of this uh, plastic hair right now we're gonna go ahead and assume that this propane thing here is a jack-o-lantern and look what happens when it would say that's a candle when the flame touches that now notice it doesn't necessarily go up in flames all the way it doesn't engulf but that plastic there you can see is dripping that molten plastic will get on the skin of your child and cause some serious burns uh, Forrest, uh, i don't know how often you deal with something like this but this is a perfect example of what you should avoid doing so what should we keep in mind when we put on those costumes on our little kids well one of the things we want to consider is that if you have a child wearing a costume like this that if they go to somebody's house who may be using candles or jack-o-lanterns or ca uh, jack-o-lanterns with candles inside them you just want to be aware that some of those these costumes if they come in contact with that flame that can lead to serious injury so what we're also trying to advise the public is is that if you're decorating try using those little bulbs instead of a candle find other replacements for candles that are safe for kids stopping by as well as for your own safety okay for Smith with Mesa Fire Department thank you so much all these costumes here uh, these are the polyester kind but Forrest also just told me a few minutes ago if you if you have a cotton costume that can be better because if it does catch fire it, it'll go out and it won't necessarily keep burning you because there's no plastic to get on your skin so just keep that in mind as you send the little ones out if you get a, a six kid pile up on the front porch just make sure they're not rubbing up against those jack-o-lanterns with the real candles inside of it you might want to keep them away from that Connie yeah really good advice this morning Brian thank you we'll come back to you again in, a, in just a short time you know it's not you want to keep your kids safe this Halloween as they head out for trick-or-treat we'll show you some hidden dangers around Halloween costumes that had to keep those little ones from getting hurt. Good morning. We're working to keep your children safe on this Halloween. We're going to tell you about the dangers around Halloween costumes. Why you should keep those kids away from those jack-o'-lanterns tonight. And then treat the whole... Herm Cain. Excuse <laughs> me for that. I apologize. <laughs> that would be breaking news. Hey, we have a safety alert to tell you about as you dress your guys in your little uh, ghoul costumes tonight. Be mindful of what your children's outfit touches as they head up to the steps because ABC 15's Brian McElhatton is live in Mesa with an example of what can happen and if that costume comes in contact with an open flame. Good morning, Brian. Good morning to you, Connie. This is something we don't always think about, but hopefully you will after seeing this. Uh, Forrest Smith is here with the Mesa Fire Department, and he, he's got a Snow White costume. And look at that. Let's just say that little propane torch is a candle, maybe from a jack-o'-lantern. Look what it does. It melts the plastic and blackens it. It doesn't necessarily flame up all the way but what's important to know here is that plastic is is molten plastic and it will stick to the skin of your child see it dripping there uh, Forrest what do we need to keep in mind when uh, when we have costumes and when we decorate our front porches well Brian one of the things we want to keep in mind is that these are flammable products and so that when you have your children out and they're going out and about to some of these homes some people may still be using candles and jack-o'-lanterns along their walkway so what we want to do is have parents just be aware that if kids have longer costumes costumes like this, be aware that if they come in contact with these flames, it could ultimately result in these things heating up. So what we want to recommend is uh, for people to use those light bulbs instead of candles inside these alternative means to keep from uh, flames or having an open flame like this. And we've seen those LED light bulbs that you can use. They look like candles, but they're LEDs. Also, you mentioned something, bright lights, bright halogen lights that you might use in decorations. Those can get hot too. Oh, absolutely. And then when they come in contact, long contact with something like this, you know, it could ultimately lead to a fire. 
Now, we've talked earlier before about using cotton type of uh, costumes. What we like about that is the fact that once that catches fire, it's easy to put out and you don't have that secondary continuing burn going on, such as this, where that plastic comes in contact with the skin, which can lead to third degree serious burns. All right, Forrest Smith with some good advice for us all. So if you have the costume already, just keep an eye on the kids. If you don't have the costume already, consider getting something in cotton instead of that plastic polyester cotton. You want to avoid those burns if at all possible. Yeah, absolutely. That is a tragedy waiting to happen. Thank you, Brian. We appreciate it. Well,